Well, there are only two games left of the 2022-2023 Premier League season. And it's been a season. It certainly has. There's been lots of ups and downs and stops and starts because of football tournaments and whatever. Um, I'm going to be doing, at the end of the season, when all the games are finished, I'm going to be doing a recap of the Crystal Palace season this year. Um, where I'm going to be talking about the highs and the lows and what happened and my thoughts on the season and my thoughts on various things that have occurred. So if you want to catch that, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications and all that good stuff so that you are aware when that video drops. It's going to be at the end of the season. And uh, also I'm going to be carrying on with doing my what, I was, what I've done the last couple of years, where is, uh, I talk about the, uh, you know, the transfers that are happening during the week. And then at the weekend, I'm going to be doing a recap of that previous week's transfer news with any updates that, uh, that are happening as well. So I'm going to be doing that. So as I said, don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of that. And uh, But today I'm talking about the preview to the, uh, to the next game. And it's going, to be, it's going to be good. I'm hoping it's going to be a good game. I'm hoping we're going to be getting another victory. I'm hoping it's going to be another good game for us. A little bit on injury news. Uh, as we expected, Wilfried Zaha is not going to be available for the game. Um, Roy Hodgson has said that he's he doesn't think he's going to be available until the uh, you know past the end of the season. He thinks that it is a very bad strain that he's got, and uh, they're not expecting him to be fit for either of the last two games, which is a shame. But uh, kind of what we expected really. So it could be that we've seen our last uh, game of uh, of football with Wilfried Zaha wearing a Palace shirt, perhaps. Um, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. I'm sure that will develop over the summer. Um, also, Jeffrey Schlupp is not going to be available because of personal reasons. So uh, it looks as though it might, might be Will Hughes back in the middle again, uh, or back in the centre of, uh, of the you know, defensive area. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Hopefully it's going to be a good game. I'm thinking that um, we're going to be winning the game. I think my fingers are going to be crossed that we, we lead the season on a high note. I want us to get above Chelsea, really. But I'm not sure whether that's going to happen. Sorry, I kicked this down. Um, I'm hoping we're going to be above Chelsea, but I'm not sure whether that's going to happen. But it'll be nice to get above them. That'll be a good bit of kudos for us and certainly a good high note uh, for us to leave the season on. Um, also, quickly talking about Roy Hodgson, in the in Sky Sports, he's actually refuted the idea that he's been in talks to stay longer at Crystal Palace. Um, so... Who knows? Maybe he maybe he isn't. There's lots of stories flying around. There's stories that he is. He said that he hasn't been in talks with Palace. Uh, there's also rumours going around that he's going to stay on to mentor uh, Paddy McCarthy. So who knows? Who knows what's eventually going to take place? But whatever it is, I'm not sure we're going to get our first choice manager again. I think that it's going to be a bit to and fro. Who we get, I don't know. A lot of people are saying that we should get Graham Potter. So... We'll have to wait and see what happens. That's certainly going to make the Crystal Palace Brighton games even more, uh, even more of a spectacle if we manage to land Graham Potter. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. So that's my, that's the news about the Crystal Palace team for the next game. And unfortunately, we're going to be without Wilfred Zaha. But I think we're still going to do well. I think that we're still going to win the game. I'm not going to give a prediction this time because I've been terrible at it. But I think we're going to win the game. I think we're going to win the game. But let me know your score predictions down in the comment section as always. And don't forget to subscribe.